In a world of so much stuff, it's you I seek, my little diamond in the rough. Just like digging for gold, treasure hunting never gets old. When everyone walks by and no one takes a look, I'll find that person who knows what making you took. If you've been stuck at the bottom of a box or next to a garden gnome, we'll do our best to find you a new forever home. If you're ready to be appreciated, even if you're dull and faded, have no fear, because rescued relics are here. Hi, thanks for spending some time with me today. But first, we have coffee. Ooh. Oh, wait, as my dad used to do it. Ooh, pretty purse. I see you. I see you. Yes. Good morning. Hi, thanks for calling me. Is that jasmine? I think that's jasmine. Oh yeah, I totally smell jasmine. Jasmine. Hello? Yeah, so the house is pending at this time, so I got a limited time. I gotta get things out of here. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, please move it, because I don't want to pack it. <laughs> what do you want for your that's a dollar. That. Whatever you want to offer. Is this in here too? Yes. Okay. Yes, all of that in there. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. You got a little apartment, yeah. Wow. Yeah. We tried to become landlords for a while and that didn't work out either. Oh, I'm sorry. And then in the house, I have a, a corner oh, china cabinet. Mattress. The whole bed is 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Yeah, I even give you the, the comforter and everything. Got the house in Illinois. I was replacing little things at a time. What is this um, right here? That's a frying um, air fryer. Oh, is it? It's a little one. Yeah, I had two. One brand new and the other one has been used a few times. I still have. I picked up this Casio watch and I learned something about it. If it is made in Japan, then it is worth picking up. The others really aren't. This one is one to look for. It has a marlin, and you will see in the next photo, it actually shows the marlin in the upper right corner. And this one here actually sold for $52.51 with six bids. So this is a definite bolo. I find some Eastport backpacks and they look brand new. I'm looking them over like wow they're in really great condition. Nothing wrong with them. They seem so sturdy. I'm like oh this has got to be a good deal. Probably pay a couple bucks for them. Oh yeah they'll resell really well I'm sure of it. Look at me. I'm all checking out making sure there's no flaws or tears. Um, yeah, no. You can get about $10 for these backpacks new. They're not the best reselling item. Not at all.
Shazammer. I want to take my drink, but I probably won't have hands because we know me. Me. T ball. Oh, they go wet. What's this one? Franklin. I don't know anything about mints. T ball, yeah. Easton. Rebel. Thank you. Power loaded. Is there something supposed to be on here? Uh -uh. You know? It just depends on which bat you get and which team you play. Alloy impact. I like wrong Personally, wings. I like wooden bat or I like nice bat. East. What is this? Why is it wet? What is it? It's a buoy. I think. I don't know. Man's buoy. It's squishy under that. And there's probably algae all over it. Okay. Easton. Rebel. Rebel. Softball. Colorado. Hey, that's where I'm from. You said Colorado? You mean Colorado. Colorado. I thought it was Colorado. It is. Nah. Look at that. Is that a tarantula? Yeah. <gasps> I had to get out right there. Oh. <laughs> oh, I used to have one of these. Look how cute he is. Well, I, I, used I used to have this one, this one, this one. I think this one. This uh, one. Say, yeah, one, this one. Do you know? Oh, I missed the white you came bug. Hey, here's another. Oh, this is an octopus. Oh, the oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a snail! Is that a snail? Yeah. I don't even know these things. A Y2K bug? I don't know. Before there was Britain, this one, and then there was the USA one, and there was somewhere else. These are my kind of prices. I'm going to have to keep shopping. Put this in a bag. Come back in an hour and they'll be even less. Really? Okay. Well, we're selling things for a dollar piece. So that bag's a dollar. I don't know. Do you know? Do you know? No. No. Look at this one. Okay. Oh, you found some? Action. Action. All right. So the GoPro pooped out, and I'm not exactly sure which yard sale it stopped working at. So I'm going to show you what some of the highlights of today's pickaroonies. It's a croc of Crocs. It's a croc of Crocs. A three pair of Crocs. So we've got some lime green. Never been worn. Wedges and what have you. Very nice. Then we've got some flipper flops or as other people in the world call them, thongs, depending on your location of life. Th -th thong, thong, thong. The number you have dialed. I was trying these on because they looked really small for the size they say. They say size 11. And I was like, why in the world do they look so small? And I wear a size um, eight and a half to nine. So I put my foot in it and I was like, looky there, that doesn't make any sense. And so I started doing some research and come to find out daily, these are fake Crocs. And the gal on the video I watched, I don't remember her website or what her information was, but she gave me some tips that if there's little bitty squares like that, that that's a telltale sign that they're not real. And the crocodile, there's no crocodile and all the other ones that I have and that I've seen have the little crocodile. He has a name. I don't know if it's Carl or whatever his name is. Maybe you guys know what his name is. But 
these ones come to find out are fake but my luck would have it thankfully they are my size so i'll wear them unless you all know something that i don't know but from what i've found out these are knockoffs and then we have some of these Mary Jane. Those look brand heels. new. Yeah, I think they've been worn couples, a couple times. Uh -huh. Well, I might wear them. They have a lot of lint. Mm. Stop. Okay, you always gotta do the smell test. You never know. All right, same sale. All right, found this, which was just beyond cool. It is a snuff container and it still has the original label. It's W.E. Someone and Sons Sweet Mild Snuff. And then there's the little. Right? Okay, so at the same place, we got us a Chilton's. Chilton's are always good. Can't go wrong with Chilton's. Right? All right. Now that's some heavy duty leather. What is it? Is it homemade? And then I looked. And it's not. It's made by Tillman. Tillman. Size two X. Come to find out, it's a welding jacket. And this is a. I thought this was a hat. Now I am questioning that. It's probably for maybe the chest part. Oh. Would probably make sense. attaches to the coat somehow. Oh yeah, because it does have a. Does it have some? Yeah, there's yeah. got to be some way of something. I don't know. I just got those, and I just got these. These are boot boot help remover dudes. You stick the heel of the boot in here, doink, and then you pull. Shoehorn. No, that's to put it on. Anyhow, this item, I remember my dad always had one of these, and I just thought they were super cool. So I got each one for a dollar. We'll let you know. We'll let and, you know. And what have you. And what have you. All right. <clears throat> so I have sold lounge fly before, and that's what this is. This is a lounge fly. I think probably got this for $2. Bailey. No. Those are Taylor's chopsticks. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got Taylor some. I got Taylor some chopsticks. She loves to eat with chopsticks, and they're cool. They have a little. <clears throat> well, let me show you. They have a cool little pearl thing in them. What is that uh, called? Mother of pearl? Uh, Oyster maybe. shell? Possible. I don't know what that is. All right. Anyhow, back to this. I'm like, ooh, lounge fly. Lounge fly. That's a funny word to say. Lounge fly. Lounge fly. Lounge. So I sit here looking at it. And even though I try and I try to look things over, I have to be a better inspector. Because look it. Wah. Mm -hmm. So sad. All coming to parts and what have you. I'll still look it up and see if somebody would want it. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. You learn some. Also, look at this vintage set of Tupperware. And I loved it because it has all of them. And it's not very often where you can get them all. And it was the sweetest older couple that was having the yard sale. So I thought that was really cool. Got it for a dollar. And then there was this, which is Amazing. She said that they actually got this for their wedding. And what were they like? Probably in their late 70s? Yeah. Yeah, late 70s. And this is Mel Mac, made in USA. And I mean, you just can't. Melamine? A type yeah. of melamine? Yeah. But it's so vintage, and you just you can't pass something up like this for 50 cents. I'm sure it's going to need to go to a new home. Someone's gonna love it. Uh -huh. Awesome. 
All right, so my niece, I gave her a Polaroid that didn't really resell well. And so she spent really good money, like I think it was 80 some dollars on film. So we're gonna see if one of these will work for her film. If they don't resell really well. And if they do, then I'll find her a different one. Cause you know, wait a second. What you got there? This is a Polaroid Sun 600 LMS. Oh, is it a Polaroid Sun 600 LMS? MLMS. Look at that. Nice. I'm learning how to open these So puppies, is too. the film that you got going to fit in there, too? I don't know. I bought mine specifically for that super old one, so That's I'm not nice sure. That's a nice one there. Yeah. School of Flash. All right. Gordon. Nice. All right. Then we have this one as well, which is a Color Burst 50 Kodak Instant Camera made in the USA. Wow. Wow. This one's old too. So, um, let's see, I got these three plus this watch, 10 bucks. Oh, yeah. So not bad, yeah. not bad. So what's 10 bucks divided by four? We're gonna say 10 bucks divided by five because there's gotta be something else we bought. So what's that, two bucks? Yeah. Two bucks a piece. Oh, and this is one of the uh, Bolivia watch. Bolivia. Bolova, Bolovia, Bologna. Bolova. Bolova. Hmm, stop the car, Bolova. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny right there. That's quite the vintage watch there. Yeah, and um, I actually just sold one that uh, was my mom. She wore it all the time, and it had a crack in it, and somebody still wanted it, so that's pretty special. But I don't hear no tick. So we're gonna have to see. I think it's a wind up. We'll have to even see if it needs a battery. Maybe. Oh, I think it it's needs a battery. Oh, okay. It probably needs a battery. But it's cool. And it has its original box. Are you kidding me, life? That's pretty cool box right there. Super duper. Original box. That's nice. Very cool. I bet this is. What kind of plastic is this? Here, let's look at this. Mm, Can you see that? Let's see. Oh, oh, patent pending. Made in USA. That's all it says. <laughs> all right, we got that figured out. <laughs> nice try. It's hot in here, huh? Yeah. Okay. And then we have a Canon, which for $2, I'm willing to take a shot on. Eh, why not? Canon, sure shot, 60 zoom. It with the manual. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I got this top for me because it's flowy and I like it. Now, this, she loved the other house we went to, she loved the Sugar Skull stuff. And uh, this cup is made by Coventry. Nice cup. Yeah, and this well, Coventry. That's nice too, I like that too. What's that called? A spoon rest? Rest your spoon. And then this is Nightmare Before Christmas. That stuff sells pretty good most of the time. It's pretty scratched up, so might not have been the best purchase. But it was cheap. Yeah. What do you do? All right. My sweetheart found these. Salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. Shell of a deal. <laughs> so funny. Fitz and Floyd classics. Fitz and Floyd. Oh, all Didn't right. Didn't even look at the bottom, did I? Oh, I probably did, but I couldn't uh, read it because I didn't have my glasses on, so handcrafted. So I think we nice. would say something like beachy, nautical theme, mm -hmm. kitchen. That's pretty cool though. Underwater, aquatical. Oh. Aquatical, is that a word? It is now, if you want I saw it to these be. guys and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give them a shot. Okay, so here's him. Deadpool. Pretty sure yep. it's Deadpool. Yep. And Batman. That could very well be. It's, yeah, it's a good possibility. They're like friends and stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh, baby. Get out of everything. Look how big he's getting. Hey, check me out, world. He's trouble. Yeah, he is. <sighs> and a uh, CD player for $2. Oh, 
And the case. A case for it, too. Who knows? Wow. Maybe the case will sell just as good as the player. And I think this has the instructions. Wow. wow. Look how organized they were. That is admirable. DVD CD. Oh, cl lens cleaner. Oh. oh, that's neat, huh? Might have to keep the lens cleaner. Whoop la. Case logic. Hey, there's something free in there. Headphones? A cleaner yeah. for CD, DVD. Very nice. I don't know how, but all right. Awesome. Okay, now, now, now. On to the next items. Whoa. Okay, we did you, all that stuff. Hello. Now, I don't know what these sell for, but my sweetheart got me a set, this one and a bigger one, and I love them. They are so handy. And for $4, just had to get it. Probably look it up, see what it sells for. If it's not like a big amount, I might give it to my sister-in-law or we might keep it as a backup because you just never know. Now we have Pampered Chef, $3. It's, I don't know what the size is, but it's stoneware with the instructions and some other probably scraper apparatus or whatnot that came with it uh -huh. for Very three good. bucks. Now on to the amazing find my sweetheart found. Fast sort. Fast sort. Change Sorter McGee and got this for, let's see. Three bucks. Three dollars. They were getting rid of their stuff cheap. Yeah, they really had to let go of stuff. Yeah. But um, sells for about 50, right? No. No, about, 90. Yeah, about 90 bucks. 90 dollars. Is that with free shipping though? Uh, I didn't look. Okay, so it. We'll put it up on the screen. Yeah, we're going to say between 50 and 90. Yeah. Because if it's free shipping, then yeah. you got to pull it. But, you know, we'll try it out first once we go through all of our coins. And, yeah, because yeah. a change will do you good. Yeah. <gasps> ah, I love ah, a good pun. That's good. You all get right. Puns. Well, all right. we're going to call it today. There's the haul. Not bad. Not a few bad. other random items, but. Yeah, there's some one-offs and whatnot, but, yeah. you know, thanks for hanging out with us today. And if you like this, please like and subscribe. And until next time, happy treasure hunting.